October 10th, 2017. My name is Ani and welcome to your TNN. Stefan Williams may only be eight years old, but he has already saved nearly half a dozen lives in his hometown, Sirgin, Wales. He spotted three people in distress from his kayak near the end of August. He, has two, he saw two young men standing at the rock at sea, whistling for help and waving to get his attention. He rescued all five people one at a time by giving them a ride on his kayak. Stefan plans on working alongside his father on the coast when he turns 17. Let's go over to Taylor with sports. Welcome to sports. My name is Taylor. Two weeks ago, the volleyball team played against Vulture Peak. Both JV and Varsity won their games. Last week, the varsity volleyball team played Arlington for the championship. I'll let you know how they did. Two weeks ago, the soccer team lost the championship 0-8. to eight. Basketball tryouts started two weeks ago. The Cardinals beat the 49ers in a field goal battle. Larry Fitzgerald caught the only touchdown of the game <laughs> over time for a 18-15 to 15 win. Their, their record improved two and two. The Arizona Coyotes kicked off their season last week at the home against the brand new team, the Vegas Golden Knights. They made a lot of moves in their off season and are looking to make the playoffs this year. This is all for sports, see you next time. Thank you, Taylor. Let's go over to Ms. Burton with our special announcement. Good morning, students and staff. I have just a few announcements this week. Tomorrow we do have early release at 11 a.m., so parents, please make sure you're there to pick up your children or make alternative arrangements. Also, we do have parent-teacher conferences on Thursday until 7 p.m., excuse me, Wednesday until 7 p.m. and Thursday until 3.30. Please, please make sure that you schedule a conference with your child's homeroom teacher. If you are not able to attend, please make sure that you schedule a phone conference. Report cards will be passed out during parent-teacher conferences, and if parents are not able to attend, they will be sent home the following week. We have no school on Friday. Let's have a great week. Thank you, Ms. Burton. Let's go over to Keegan and Ashton with your entertainment news. Hi, my name is Ashton. And my name is Keegan. Welcome to entertainment news. On December 15th, the new movie Ferdinand will be coming out. This movie is about a kind bull named Ferdinand mistaken for a dangerous beast. He is captured from his home and family very determined to return back. To get home, he gathers a team for a huge adventure. If you see it, you may hear some f familiar voices. John Cena is the voice of Ferdinand the Bull, and Mr. Fluffy himself, Gabriel Iglesias, voices the character name um, Cuatro. This movie is not yet rated, but is it expected to be PG, making it a safe choice for the whole family? See you next time, Ashton. Ashton. Let's go over to Hannah with Fun Fact Trivia. Hey, my name is Hannah, and welcome back to Fun Fact Trivia. Today I have two real facts and one false one. Try to guess which one that is. Is it A, the human nose can remember 50,000 different scents? B, Foxes can eat insects, or is it C? Rabbits can jump 20, leap 20 feet forward in a single hop. You have 10 seconds to answer. C, you are correct. Rabbits can only leap 10 feet forward in a single hop. See you next time on Fun Fact Trivia. Thank you, Hannah. Kiarathur is back with Name That Thing. Hello, my name is Kiartha and welcome to Name That Thing. But first, a shout out to Miss Quinn's 7th uh, seven, and 8th grade class for guessing Adamant on the previous question. Today's thing is a cartoon company from the 1920s. This company is the first company to create animation with sound two years before Walt Disney's Steamboat Willie. This company is also responsible for creating such famous icons as Bimbo the Talking Dog, Coco the Clown, and Betty Boop. This 
company is also known for creating the bouncy ball the bouncing boss sing along idea. The first animations were called singing cartoons. If you know the answer, go to the link below to get announced. Back to you, Ani. Thank you, Key Arthur. Let's go over to Natalia with the joke of the week. Welcome back to Joke of the Week. Today we have David from Mrs. Forstrom's fourth grade class. So, David, what's your joke? What did the penny say to the uh, nickel? What? You make more sense. <laughs> Great joke, David. If you would like to be on Joke of the Week, go to the link below. See you next time on Joke of the Week. Thank you, Natalia. Amelia's here with Smart Art. Hello, I'm Amelia, and welcome to Smart Art. Today I will be drawing a wolf. That is all for Smart Art. Thank you. Thank you, Amelia. Let's go over to Jackson and Eric with weird news. Hi, Hello. my name is Jackson. And my name is Eric. Welcome to Weird News. A young boy in Tucumán, Argentina suffered an unusual side effect after he swallowed a piece from a pet toy, he couldn't stop squeaking. The whistle was stuck between the larynx and pharynx. Zuviria told HuffPost by email using local anesthesia. Zuviria was able to remove the squeaker from the boy's throat. Well, regarded as a superfood, Avocados can be used in a variety of ways in the kitchen, from salads to sandwiches and everything in between. But artist John Campbell uses them to make small sculptures. She even posts her work to an Instagram page called Avocado Stoneface. It's all for Weird News. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Let's go over to Khalil with our special guest, Miss Lewis, on why we should be an A-plus school. Hi, my name is Khalil. Today we have a special guest, Miss Lewis, who teaches 7th and 8th grade social studies. Uh, why do you think we should be an A-plus school today, Miss Lewis? Thanks for asking me, Khalil. Um, I'd like to share my thoughts on that. Um, with every student that I've met, I think are very respectful people. And not only that, the staff are A number one people. They go out of their way to help each other, to help students, and I think that they perform above and beyond what they're asked to do. Thanks, thanks for sharing that with us. We'll see you next week on why we should be in A-plus school. We have a couple of reminders. Parent-teacher conferences are this week, and there's no school on Friday because of fall break. Before we go, let's look at the Penny War scores. That's all for this week. See you on TNN next time.